Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I wanted to do a video on social media organization. So for anyone out there who's a writer who knows they need to get their social media down to an art just like they do their writing, um, I have learned a few tricks and tips along the way having self-published two books and needing to kind of market myself as a writer. I've learned quite a bit. I also have a, two businesses that have nothing to do with writing at all. So I've learned a lot of, of marketing and social media outreach through those businesses as well. So we're not gonna be talking about the social media apps and programs themselves, not like Instagram and Twitter and Pinterest and all that, because that I'm sure you guys know it all exists. There are mediums that help you post on these platforms so that you can you can better organize your time so that you're not spending five hours a day posting on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. It kind of gets a little bit hairy if you do have to manually post every day on every single platform there is. So I will talk about five different apps and programs that have helped me personally organize my social media presence. So tip or program and app number one that is really helpful is a app that helps you kind of plan out your posts. So for me, I use Later for Instagram and Hootsuite for Twitter. So for Instagram, for example, why I really like Later more than Hootsuite is because it helps you kind of curate your IG content so it all kind of aesthetically looks alike so you can see what the feed is going to look like before you post it. Whereas Hootsuite, I haven't really played enough on it for Instagram. I don't know if they've upgraded and now they do offer that as well. But a long time ago when I first started acquainting myself uh, with Hootsuite, I found that it didn't have that feature. It only just kind of uh, in a queue would show you what your posts would be, but it wouldn't show you what it would look like as an end result. So for Twitter, I did use Hootsuite because it doesn't really matter aesthetically what your tweets would look like. It just matters that you post out your tweets and schedule them out and then it automatically posts. That's Hootsuite. And meanwhile, later, is really good for Instagram for the very reason that it shows you aesthetically what it would look like. So if you like the color scheme that um, you've created, great. If you feel like one photo is too dark, whereas all the others are really light, then you'll know that it, you won't like what it would look like in the end result, so you can switch it out. So those are great apps for particularly scheduling your tweets and um, Instagram. Now with later you can actually also post for uh, automatically schedule it for Facebook which I do and also you can use later for Twitter. Um, I think I just learned these two different apps at different times for different uh, the different platforms and so I kind of stuck to the things that I know but you can definitely schedule out your tweets on later so you don't have to toggle between two different platforms you can just buy later um, and kind of go from there and post out schedule out your all of your posts for Instagram Facebook and Twitter on the one platform of later so those are the two apps that I use for scheduling now there are there is a minor issue with content where do you find your content and there are two different programs and apps that i use that i absolutely love one of them is just raw uh, stock images so it's called unsplash there's a few different ones um but i like unsplash because it's just so uh, the photography is beautiful and you don't have to you can just pull from unsplash and you don't have to credit the photographer you can just use the image so it's just free for the picking and there's a lot of various various images so you can go for a more relaxation photo you can go for like books and coffee mugs or whatever it is that you are looking for if you're looking for an outdoorsy post or an image of some kind of hike or the sea there'll be plenty to choose from so unsplash is my go-to 
Now another uh, program, so number four, is called Canva, canva.com. So Canva is a great platform that helps you, not only does it have stock images that you could find, granted, not all of them are free. So a lot of them will be free and some of them are not going to be free and you just have to decide whether that $1 is worth it for the image that you feel like would so perfectly fit to whatever you're trying to post. Now why I like Canva a lot is because Canva allows you to, it immediately has templates for, for example, Facebook post, Instagram post, for your YouTube video thumbnail, for if you're doing flyers in a brochure, like say you're doing some kind of book signing and you need to print out flyers, you can go to Canva, they'll have a bunch of templates of different flyers and different brochures and you could just change the images, change the information, and voila, you have a really cool flyer. So not only do they have those kind of templates, not only do they have the stock photography, but you could also create content for, for like Facebook stories on Canva because they have, they now have this really cool set, uh, section on Canva called um, animated social media. And it will be like, um, it will be kind of abstract well, some of them are abstract, some of them are not. So for example, it'd be like a photo of a girl drinking coffee and um, sparkles on the sides and a little circle that keeps circling around the coffee, right? So it's animated, not just like a static image of a girl drinking coffee, but you have now these sparkles and this consistently circling um, circle. So um, I'm a writer, guys. I have a way with words, I swear. Anyways, so Canva is perfect for that. So you can really curate a very unique look for not only just actual physical material, like if, like I said, if you need brochures or flyers, but you could also help curate a really cool social media um, posts in terms of IG stories or IG content or um, Facebook or YouTube video thumbnails. That's what they're called. YouTube video thumbnails. I don't know why it's those words. I need to kind of think about putting those words together. Anyway, so that's number four. Now the fifth tip that I would offer you, and this will be the most like hands off approach. So if you really cannot be bothered to go and explore these programs and these apps and curate your own uh, IG content, IG is Instagram, uh, or Facebook or Twitter. If you really just have no time, maybe you're busy, maybe you're a stay at home mom and you have kids running around or your job is just like a nightmare and you need to focus on work and writing and you just have no time for Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, then I would highly, highly recommend you go to something called Upwork.com or Fiverr. So Upwork or Fiverr, and both of those platforms are basically, they bring all the independent contractors of the entire world onto that platform. So you could hire a social media manager for whether you hire somebody from America for a little bit more of a cost, uh, or you could hire somebody from a country where the standard pay is a little bit lower. So for example, you could hire someone from India or Bangladesh at like $5 an hour or something. And they will put in however many hours that you guys decide between you two. And let's say they'll put five hours into curating your Instagram feed for you. Or, and they could even, if you really, really have them intensely work with you, they can even engage with your audience. They can comment and post on different uh, videos and um, posts and stories and tweet, tweets. And actually, this is a really nice way when you are busy. I actually did hire somebody from Bangladesh on Upwork like 2016, so a while now, like four years ago. And she was great, she, was, she really helped build up my Twitter and now I still to this day have over a thousand followers even though I am not as frequent of a poster as I used to be. Uh, so but this girl really really helped kind of organize my tweets and helped me curate my Twitter and grow my followers there and Instagram as well. So if you really like I said have no time and would just rather delegate it to somebody else who is the professional then 
go ahead and do that. You could definitely have an affordable option on Upwork or Fiverr. And I will have all these programs and apps down below. So if you guys have any questions, you can um, leave them in the comments down below. But if you guys are wondering about the specific names and the spellings, I'll have that in under the video. So yeah, if I think that's it. If you guys, like I said, have any questions, let me know. I will, though I actually caveat for the Upwork. I will say that if you do hire someone from not an English speaking country and you're a writer, I would recommend that you kind of make sure that your person, whoever you hire, is fluent in English because that could be detrimental to your reputation as somebody who is a writer who's supposed to understand the English language. Meanwhile, there's typos everywhere on your Instagram feed, on your tweet, Twitter, through your tweets, right? So um, I recommend you make sure this person that you hire is fluent in English no matter where they're from in, around the world. And you can definitely find it. There's a lot of people who do speak English fluently. You just have to make sure that you kind of are looking for that. And also I recommend you think about the hour differences where you're hiring your person from. So for example, if they're half the world away, then you might have difficulty in communication if you know when it's daytime for you it's nighttime for them and vice versa so you just have to kind of think about the logistics but it's not impossible in our day and age to communicate with somebody half the world away it's just we have to kind of be a little bit more mindful of these circumstances all right you guys if you have any questions or if you've used other social media tools and apps and programs to help organize all your posts let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any other questions about anything i said let me know hope you guys have a great day please click to subscribe and thumbs up on this video